The Chandlers are safe now, but little's changed behind them in Somalia. It's still a country in chaos and the pirates are thriving on it. In the end, it was a business transaction. The couple walked free in Somalia only because a ransom had been paid. A ransom funded in part by these people, the residents of the Somali town of Adado, full of apologies and also anger. Piracy has ruined their lives too. So we ask you for your forgiveness and tell your government the Somali people are innocent people who are helpless, cannot defend themselves. It's surrounded by religious uh, factionists, surrounded by thugs, surrounded by criminal pirates. I do hope that in some way our, <coughs> our ordeal has not been in vain and that it will highlight the need to help you to fight this terrible crime. The couple were given presents, souvenirs of an unscheduled visit to Somalia they perhaps rather forget. For 388 days, they were held captive at gunpoint, threatened with execution if their family didn't pay up. We survived for over a year in the hands of a brigade of thugs. By taking one day at a time. Somalia wants to show it's winning the fight against the pirates, which is why the couple were taken to the dangerous capital Mogadishu. The president and the prime minister of this almost powerless government wanted to share in the glory of their release. But this was a victory for the pirates, not the Somali government, richer now after the Chandler's release. All of the efforts of the international patrol ship seem to be failing. The pirates are still hijacking vessels and receiving multi-million dollar ransoms almost every month. The mayor of Adado told me that things need to change. As much as you know, international community are willing to pay, or let me say that insurance companies are willing to pay, then it's more risk and they creating a monster that tomorrow it's not going to be uh, put down, I think. So it need uh, different methods to solve the problem. Paul and Rachel Chandler will soon be back in the UK, but as many as 500 people are still being held by the pirates, still waiting to be freed. Emma Hurd, Sky News, Nairobi. Thank <laughs> you.